Hare Krishna. Even if we can't understand Krishna, we can still stand under Krishna. Suppose something happens in our life which just doesn't make sense. And it is not just materially unfavorable, but even spiritually unfavorable. So it obstructs us in our service, in our spiritual practices. And we may start wondering, why is this happening? And it's entirely understandable to feel perplexed, to feel overwhelmed, to feel disappointed. But instead of letting that overwhelm us, we can choose a more empowering option. That is, instead of, even if we can't understand why this particular thing is happening, why is God letting it happen? Why? Uh, what is Krishna's plan? Sometimes we can't understand. But still, we can stand under Krishna. That means that we can stand under means as two meanings. Stand under something means it means submission and it means protection. Like we stand under someone means we subordinate ourselves to them, we submit ourselves to them. And stand under can also mean protection. Say so if it's raining heavily, we might stand under some tree and it protects us. So similar in these two senses, we can stand under Krishna. It means we can, Krishna, I do not understand. Krishna, I am still your servant. Still you are my master. You have a plan and I want to serve you in this plan. So I would like to understand why this is happening. But even if I can't understand, still I understand that in all situations, you want me to serve you. So I will keep serving you. Please, O oh Krishna, engage me in your service and please guide me. How can I serve you in this situation? So with this attitude of submission, we will find that Dadahmi Buddhi Yogam Tam Yenamamupayantite Krishna will guide us from within, showing if not a clear path, but at least lit steps ahead of us, one lit step ahead of us. So that, in fact, this very submissive attitude will become like our flashlight to show us that step ahead. And the second sense of protection, actually, when adversities happen, the adversities don't trouble us as much as our mind going mad because of those adversities. So if we can protect ourselves from being subjected to the mad mind, if we can fix the mind on Krishna, we focus the mind on trying to deal with the problem as much as we can. But beyond that, instead of letting the mind obsess over the problem and go crazy and make us crazy, we turn towards Krishna and fix our consciousness on Krishna and absorb ourselves in Him. That can also help us become calm, pacified. So we will be under the protection of Krishna because we will be protected from the mind which makes situations far worse than what they need to be. And by striving to do our best in Krishna's service, Krishna will protect us and ultimately guide us to safety. This is the mood of Arjuna at the end of the Bhagavad Gita. After he heard the Gita, wherein he understood what his role was meant to be. He still didn't understand why Duryodhana was so envious of him. He still didn't understand why Arjun now was put in a situation of fighting against his own venerable elders like Bhishma and Drona. But he understood that through it all, some higher plan was there. And thus, Arjun decided to stand under Krishna. Uh, initially, he said, he said that I just don't understand anything. I don't understand what is happening, Krishna. That was 2.6. But 18.73, the end of the Gita, he says, Nashto mohasmati labdha. And just by that resolution to do Krishna's will, Arjuna gained freedom from his anxiety and perplexity. And so too can we. Thank you. Hare Krishna.